Today we're going to listen to the story called Bar Graphs by Cher G. Edgar. Today you'll develop word recognition and reading skills while we're learning about and using simple bar graphs to represent data. Table of contents. What is a bar graph? Making a bar graph. You try it? Find out more. Glossary. Home and school connection. Index. About the author. What is a bar graph? Anna wants to count what kinds of fruit she has. She can use a graph, graph show data. Anna made a bar graph. On a bar graph, bars stand for amounts. There's the title, there's numbers on a bar graph. Here are the bars and the labels, apples, pears, bananas. Longer bars mean bigger amounts. Shorter bars mean smaller amounts. These bars help us compare data. Here's another bar graph. Title is Game Pieces. One, four, three, two, one. So there's four brown and one white. You can compare how big brown is, the bar of brown, compared to the white. Making a bar graph. Jed wants to count people's favorite toys. He calls his graph Best Toys. That's the title, Best Toys. Jed made a big L. He numbered 1 to 10, up the side of the L. Here's his title, Best Toys. He wrote labels under the L, games, books, and bikes. These are the things Jed will count. Games, books, bikes. Those are the titles. Here's the number 10 and the L. To make his bar graph. Jed made a bar for each toy. Eight friends liked games the best. Here's his bar that goes up to eight for games. Six friends liked books best. Here's his bar to show six friends like books. Four friends like bikes best. Here's the bar to show four friends like bikes. What does Jed's graph show? You can see Jed's friends like games best because that bar is the biggest. It has eight. You try it. Make a bar graph with blocks. Sort the blocks by color. Count the blocks. Make the graph. Graphs are fun. Remember, you need an L, you need numbers, you need a name or title, and you need the bars to tell how many blocks. Have fun making your graph.